What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys the first episode of Squeaker Stories. The reason it's called Squeaker Stories is I couldn't think of a better name besides grade school stories and Squeaker Stories. And I didn't want people misreading the title as like high school stories and then thinking why is he talking about a story that happened in first grade and high school stories. So I just decided to call it Squeaker Stories. Um, so this is going to be the story of my third, fourth, third or fourth grade birthday party. Maybe it was fifth. Uh, I'm not sure, but I just remember this. This is one of my most memorable parties, and I, I'm also telling the story of how I dislocated my wrist in fifth or sixth grade. Um, so, real quick about the gameplay: this is a resistance team deathmatch gameplay. I go 42 and five, and I get um, all three of my streaks three times. So that's predator missile, uh, attack helicopter, and I think. Uh, yeah, and uh, Reaper, sorry, I couldn't think of the name of the Reaper. I was about to say AC-130, but it's not an AC-130. So anyway, um, my party, um, I invited Tommy, Ross, Chris, Liam, and Nate over. Um, it ended up being Tommy, Ross, and Nate that slept over. It was everybody was supposed to sleep over. This isn't like like I said first. It's it's between first and fifth or sixth grade. I, I actually it's not sixth. I know for a fact it's not sixth because um, I Chris and I didn't get along in sixth. I'm pretty sure it was third or fourth because Chris and I didn't get along in fifth and sixth. Um, he's actually he actually bullied me, which uh, I've never actually talked about. Which that will be a topic for Squeaker Stories. Um, but Tommy and Ross are twins. Uh, their gamer tags on Xbox are Risen Soldier and It's Swifty XX. Um, Nate, you know him. He's been in a ton of my videos. His sick twist. Um, Chris, like I said, I don't talk to him anymore. Him and I hate each other. Um, Liam, I don't talk to him anymore. We don't have any issues though. Um, so. At the party, it was I knew it was going to be controversial because Liam hate Nate, hates Nate and Tommy and Ross. Tommy and Ross hate Nate and Liam. Nate hates Liam, Tommy and Ross, and Chris doesn't know doesn't have an opinion on anybody. So I kind of figured this would be pretty bad, considering um, all my friends either hate each other or don't have an opinion on each other. Uh, except for Tommy and Ross, which are twins, so they can't really have an opinion on each other. Um, so, anyway, it started with, uh, we were going to play a Roy oh, I forgot, my friend Nick was there, too. He lived up the street from me. Um, he got along with everybody, though. Uh, so anyway, we, we started with a Royal Rumble, Rumble wrestling match, uh, and we were wrestling for a while. We actually, like I said, we did the Royal Rumble, we did a uh, three versus three tag team match, um, we did, uh, like a, uh, f I think it's called a fatal four-way. I don't know. I don't really know the terms from wrestling. Um, but, like, uh, my friend Liam brought, brought over his, like, championship belts, and we all, def we all, he had six championship belts, the tag team championship, um, then there was the WWE and World Heavyweight Championship belts that he had. So all the matches were for championship. Obviously, we didn't keep them. We gave them back to them. But it was it was really fun because there were stakes to it. Um, and it all ended pretty bad when um, in the tag team match for the tag team championship, which was a three way or a triple threat tag team championship match. It was I think me and Nate versus Nick and Liam versus Tommy and Ross. Tommy, I know Ross DDT'd Liam. Which, if you guys don't know, that means he grabbed him by the head, by the head, and slammed his head into the ground. Well, Liam got up and put Ross in a chokehold, and that uh, was like crying and screaming in his face, and had him like pushed up against the ground. And uh, then I pulled him off, pulled him back. Like I guess I I don't know. I I think I said to put him on the steps, and then I put Ross in my bedroom. And then, no, I put Liam in the kitchen and Ross in my, it was in my room. And I had uh, Nate, or no, not Nate. I had Chris and Nick go up with Ross and Nate was with me in case they tried to go at each other again, which they did a couple times. Um, and then, uh, 
And Liam finally calmed down. I gave him this. I gave him like a piece of a hanger. It was like a. I don't know what it was made of. It was like I guess half. It was made of the same stuff that a paper towel roll was made of. And um, he. I told him to smack it on this drawer. A drawer I have in my room. So he did. That let him. That calmed him down a little bit. Then he ended up walking home. And um, then Nate got mad at Ross because Nate went for a swanton bomb on Ross. <laughs> Nate hit his head on the t on our glass table that we have, and like fell. I guess you could say he basically like fell, hit his head, and was like basically unconscious. Now at the time, my mom was upstairs, my dad was upstairs, so we didn't know what to do. So we kind of just lay, let him sit there and sleep, uh, which wasn't a good idea because he had a head injury. So we shouldn't have let him fall asleep, which was. Uh, because that, that could cause somebody to go into a coma if they have a concussion. If you guys didn't know that, it's not definitely going to happen, but it could happen. Um, so anyway, um, then Nate was mad about that once he woke up. So he did the same thing with the hanger piece. Um, and then Chris ended up leaving. Chris didn't really, was uneventful there. And Nate, Tommy, Ross, and Nick slipped over. Uh, Nick brought down his... No, never mind. I was going to say he brought down his Xbox, but that was at my party in 6th grade. Um, and then I got an Xbox. Or no, that was my party in 7th grade. And then I got an Xbox in May of that year. Um, so, anyway. Um, I forget what we did for... Oh, we played baseball for the rest of the night. Uh, we had this little, like, foam ball. I don't know what it's... Like, what they're... What, like, what it's called, but there's, like baseballs that you buy those little kids when, and they get like a little bat with it it's um, but anyway we had the, the baseball and like a hanger piece not a hanger piece I've been saying that too much a piece to the shelf and real quick guys I'm gonna stop this and get this really good streak I got on terminal for you guys so I can keep talking alright guys I'm back so uh, anyway what ended up happening was I was up to bat uh, teams were me and Nate versus Tommy and Ross or uh, me and Nate, or I was designated hitter, and then it was Tommy and Ross versus Nate and Nick. So, um, anyway, we, we were playing, I was up to bat, Ross threw me the pitch, I swing the, what, what we were calling the bat, and it hits my computer desk and, like, shatters, wakes my mom up, she comes down, and she goes, I, or she goes, what was that? I told her, she goes, oh, okay, grabs the baseball and throws me the next pitch. And everybody after that was like, oh my god, your mom's awesome, and stuff like that. Uh, and we were up until like 4 in the morning just playing baseball. And then we finally went to bed about 5 a.m. That was the first time I've actually, I actually had stayed up since, uh, or till like, or past like 12 or 1. Um, and it was a lot of fun. We had a great time playing baseball. Then everything ended well once we finally split split Nate, Tommy, and Ross up after their fight so um and then the story of how I dislocated my wrist is well I don't know like I think I dislocated it but I was told I had a bone contusion which was not right because my wrist was bent um so what happened was I was playing baseball for my my team um we were playing one of the other we were playing another team obviously and uh we I got thrown an inside pitch by the fastest pitcher in the league and it hit me right in the wrist because the way I used to swing, I used to step, bring my hands down, and then swing. And I brought my hands down right into the pitch. Um, it hit me right where like a batting glove strap would be um, and bent my wrist and I was really hurt. Like I was hurting pretty bad and then uh, I walked over, I took my base, I ended up stealing a base. Um, that was when I was still a good, ba like I was still had good speed to me. I've never been like really fast, but at a time I, I was average. I'm still not that slow actually. Um, I just don't have, I just can't run distance. I can run like sprints, but I can't run distance. So anyway, I stole this base, and then um, they pulled me for a pinch runner, um, which I came, I came out uh, of the game. Then they were gonna put me, or no, they didn't pull me. And my the batter struck out. I for, I just I'm thinking of a different story when they pulled me for a pinch runner. Um, but anyway, they um, they were we were sitting on the bench, 
and they asked me if I was okay. I said, I, I don't think I can play. And uh, they put in one of my buddies, Sean, uh, who ended up getting hurt that game, too, because he got hit in the back of the head with a throw from the outfield. Um, they put in Sean, uh, and the next day, I, my mom took me to the hospital, and they told me I had a bone contusion, but I know for a fact it was dislocated. Um, and... Yeah, that's the story of how I dislocated my wrist. And real quick, guys, before I end this commentary, the montage will be out Saturday. I actually have it scheduled uploaded. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you wouldn't know that. Um, I posted a picture of the schedule upload and said, here it is. So, thanks so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.